Good morning. I kind of figured because I am kind of refreshing a lot of things in January that January will be the month of refresh. What really needs to be refreshed is <laughs> just a lot of organization, cleaning things. So I figured that's what we will chill out and do in this video, starting with the wreck that is my car. I'm just sitting out of Elmo, aka Wedgman, aka my mom's house right now because she's going to be coming along with me. But another thing that I'm going to be working on is my anxiety. And I had mentioned in a previous video that I have anxiety going through a car wash because I don't like to be trapped. <laughs> and car washes kind of trap you in a space for a set amount of time. Like granted, it's it's minutes, but they trap you in a space for a set amount of time and there's like all of this stuff going on, like big machinery, and it freaks me the f out, honestly. So I figured first step would be going through it with somebody and then eventually getting the balls to go through it myself. I know this is so stupid, but it's like, what can you do? So yeah, clean the car first, then we will move on to the house, which has a facade of being somewhat clean some of the time, but when you start opening up cabinets and closets, you get to the nitty gritty of the clutter. It's just impossible to find stuff all of the time, so I figure it's time to give my space a little bit of a zhuzhing anyway. And not to mention, I'm kind of ahead of myself season-wise, like I was with Christmas. Having put up a Christmas tree in October, I'm also chomping at the bit to get to springtime because I'm like, I'm sick of this cold-ass weather. I am wanting to start a garden. I'm wanting to do all of these things, but it's still really cold outside. So I figure spring cleaning in January might be okay. <laughs> Can I get so claustrophobic at this part. My mom was asking me if I was embarrassed showing my dirty car on the internet for all to see and I was like, do I look like I have a pristine car? No, it's not who I want to be, but it is who I am on a cellular level, just a person whose car looks lived in. It's just my aesthetic. Anyways, I think next item on the agenda is to get into that pantry and give it a good organization because it got out of whack really fast. But speaking of the pantry, let's get a quick word from our sponsor. As many of you know, I'm currently trying out a no added sugar diet. That means at the grocery store, I am reading a ton of nutrition labels. And oftentimes when it's busy, which it normally is, I'm in someone else's way or it's just too many items to sift through and I end up leaving without trying anything new. That's why I'm happy that today's sponsor is Thrive Market. They're an online membership based grocery store that's on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. Personally, I'm a fan because I'm free to peruse the nutrition facts in the comfort of my own home. Also, you have the ability to filter by a specific diet. So whether you're gluten free, vegan, keto, or in my case on the prowl for no added sugar items, I can shop by over 90 different diets and values. Memberships go month to month for $12 a month, or you can sign up annually and only pay $5 a month. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. And while we're on the topic, believe me, you will make back your annual $60 membership fee in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will credit you the difference. They also give cash back on items marked with the Thrive Cash Badge and have a special deals section to provide you with a additional savings. Not to mention orders over $49 ship free with no tipping or additional fees. In this box, I purchased pantry staples that I use all the time along with some new no added sugar items to try out. And on this order, I saved $28.89. So if you're interested, click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Beatrice Caruso to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Okay, so my cleaning style is to take everything out of the place that I'm cleaning it makes some other area a god awful mess and then slowly put it back so then I can't I have to like force myself to keep going I can't just like stop halfway through you know what I mean so as you can tell by this shelf the bins work as far as organization but then like they get overcrowded and I just kind of shove stuff on top into the side so that's not helping anyone it's just causing a potential avalanche situation oh my god
the fridge is next. I've been putting this off for quite a while. Yesterday I dropped an egg, like somehow off the back of the top shelf and it cracked. It just ran all the way down the back of the fridge. <laughs> Also, I realized like there's some leftovers that just somehow got pushed to the back that have been there for longer than they needed to be. I've recently been doing pretty good at eating leftovers, but sometimes things just get away from you and there's something back there that I saw <laughs> that's been back there for maybe like three weeks since I made it. So not good, not good. It's just a mishmash of chaos. For being three weeks old, it doesn't look terrible. But this was a 2023 thing. Granted, that was only like two weeks ago at this point, but still. What in tarnation? Okay, let's keep this cleaning train rolling because we're making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're homebound. Just kidding, we're making our way to the bedroom. Um, let's play a game real fast. <laughs> Which side of the bed do you think is mine? If you guessed the one with the angry bee stuffy, you'd be correct. This is actually a potato in a bee costume, is what this is supposed to be. Should we procrastinate our responsibilities and have a little show and tell real fast? Because why not? Oh, if you're wondering what the hell that is, that's a screen for the projector that we rigged up over the bed. It doesn't look pretty, but it's kind of awesome. What to show and tell. We got this little planet thing that hovers. Honestly iconic and a whole vibe and it lights up. Got the whole bluey squad, muffin included, very rare. Muffin's kind of like the best character, I think in my opinion. Baby Yoda, we got you. Then in the drawer, you'll never guess, but we have a dismembered Winnie the Pooh body, which was a Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal crochet project that I took on for my sister for Christmas, but I had to ask for an extension on that one because <laughs> the pattern is very confusing. Ready? Listen to this. Mind you, this is one, one round. Journey round. Single crochet and next 42 single crochets. Two single crochet and next single crochet. Holding first leg and body with right sides together. Matching marked single crochet on first leg with next single crochet on body. And working through both thicknesses. Single crochet and next 11 single crochets, leave remaining 16 single crochets on first leg unworked. Working in single crochet on body decrease, two single crochets and next single crochet, single crochet and next 12 single crochets, two single crochet and next single crochet decrease, holding second leg and body with right sides together, matching marked single crochet on second leg with next single crochet on body, working through both thicknesses, single crochet and next 11 single crochets, leave remaining 16 single crochets on second leg unworked, working in single crochet on body, two single crochets and next single crochet, single crochet and next 15 single crochets for a total of 101 single crochets. That was just round 16. Like that was just one time around. That was one it's horrible. And that's as much as I got on this Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal. At this point in time, I don't know if I'll ever get done. Uh, but speaking of projects that I did and did not show you, this thing, which is a plethora of tiny wooden cubes that I painted individually and then stuck to this canvas using Elmer's glue. I eyeballed the spaces in between the squares um, instead of measuring them out because <laughs> You seen my car, you know, you know why I didn't measure them out. But now I just lay in bed and it haunts me because I see all of the parts where they're not evenly spaced. So I'm thinking about redoing it, but uh, there's that. But I think we've procrastinated enough because that crochet pattern probably took me like 30 minutes to read that one step. So <laughs> now on to the closet. all what was hiding behind my hanged clothes, so. Thank you. 
these are 360 pieces of clear cutlery in the closet. My system for the closet is to go from like least clothes to most clothes. So we got like crop tops over here and then like winter jackets over there. So I could like flip through and find what I'm looking for. I think that that is enough cleaning for one day personally. It probably is like five minutes of footage, but it took me all day. <laughs> but I think if I just pick like a random cubby or crevasse a day and organize that cubby or crevasse, then eventually this house is gonna start making sense. Cause I don't know y'all, like we're screwed over here. Cause I got the ADHD, Stevie I'm pretty sure got the undiagnosed ADHD because he is exactly like me. <laughs> Except for he's a little bit more organized. He's not as chaotic as I am. I'm the one who makes the messes. You know what I mean? But girl, I found eight tubes of toothpaste in the cabinet and we just keep buying more because we think we're out of it, but it's more like a out of sight, out of mind thing. There is eight unopened tubes of toothpaste in the bathroom cabinet. Now granted, I love having a little hoard going because like, you know how like they say like people in the twenties have like that great depression mindset where they're like burying money in the backyard and stuff. We got that 2020 mindset. Okay. Okay, where there was a time when there was a panic over toilet paper, <laughs> which is so bizarre now that I think back to it, but it's nice having a year's supply of toothpaste. Maybe, I don't know. Granted, it's not from like a stockpiling standpoint. It's more of a like, I did not know that I had already had some before purchasing more kind of thing, so. Uh, anyways, I just want to thank you so much for being like a positive pressure, even though unbeknownst to you, I don't even know if you'll watch this video, but a positive pressure for me to be productive because sometimes that's what I need, especially when it comes to cleaning. So I just want to thank you so much and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye! And remember, if you're interested, click my link in the description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Beatrice Caruso to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today.